hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys i hope you're doing well hope you're keeping good on my side i'm good guys and i thank you so much guys for the support you've given me i don't take any support that you've given me for granted guys and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly press that red button and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell set that when i will be uploading a new video you will be the first person to get notified so guys today i just wanted to share with you why some of us run away from they are employers or why some of housemates or Arab housemates run away from them. They are employers. There are so many reasons behind running away from their employers. So guys, the first one is food. Guys, I, I don't know what's wrong with food, but I think most Arab countries, especially Saudi Arabia, food is a major problem to some houses. It's just a major problem. You will note that you will be not given food like the whole day you don't eat, but some houses you will find you know these people like sleeping a lot so somebody will just sleep the whole day and she forgets that she has a housemaid who is supposed to eat so with them they will be sleeping and you know you will be waking up very early in the morning what you do the house cause like a normal routine but with them they will be sleeping and you will find somebody waking up at around 3 pm and when she wakes up that's the time she will take breakfast but you remember you woke up at 1 so at 7 a.m. and you've not eaten anything or maybe if there's something to eat you only take breakfast because some don't allow people to they don't allow their housemates to make something to eat so you have to wait for these people until that time they will make up and make food for you so you see you are starving all this time you are working and these people are sleeping with them they don't care because they, they that's their normal way of life they don't care whether you eat or you not eat or sometimes you find some of the houses where the madame is the one who cooks Sometimes they will cook and forget that she, the housemaid needs to eat. They will cook and serve all the food, leaving nothing behind for you. So they, they expect that whatever they will eat and remain, you have to eat the leftovers. And sometimes they will eat all the food and you will not have anything to eat. So you will just that day will just pass like that. And sometimes you will find you are leaving that food here. Yeah? The food is there, but it's so liquid, it's so insufficient. Maybe the kind of work you're doing, you are using a lot of energy. And somebody want to give you a very light food that doesn't help you even at all. So you are always very hungry. And guys, another one is salary. This is the major problem. You find you're working for somebody, like seriously. And when it comes to any month, this person doesn't want to pay you. Payment is just a problem. And some of them, even if you tell them that you need your money, they will end up beating you. They will just end up beating you, like literally beating you. They don't want to hear anything to do with money and yet you're working for this person you have bills to pay back at home you didn't come here to stay remember you came here to work and pay some of your bills back at home and guys i had a friend who worked for five months around five months to six months and she said she has never been paid but whenever she raises the issue that they are supposed to pay her they will even beat her they will threaten to beat her and even throw her out of the house so you just have to keep quiet because you don't have anybody to talk to or sometimes if they want to pay you, or if they feel like they want to pay you, you find the payment is always being delayed. It's something they pay you when they want. If you're supposed to be paying when they're 17, they will pay you the time they feel like maybe after two months. And they don't, they don't even want you to remind them that you, they are supposed to be paying you. And some will pay you like, if they're supposed to pay you 900 reals, they will tell you they will be paying you for 50 reals. And they are remaining with the 450 reals they will pay you when they feel like. And you feel it like you work a whole month, somebody is paying you half of the salary of what he or she is supposed to pay you. And when you ask her for the another half, she will tell you that I had already paid you. I'm not going to add any money on top of that. Then another one, guys, is harassment. Harassment is so bad, guys. You find some of us were sexually abused, but we don't talk about it because here yeah, it's something illegal. We are not allowed. They say it's around sexual if if they are insulting you sexually you are not they they believe that you're not supposed to talk out because if let's say it's your boss who is harass, harassing you sexually there's nobody who you will go and talk to because you can't tell your madam that his husband that her husband is abusing you sexually she will not believe and even if she knew that her husband is abusing sexually the husband will never agree they will be like is you who seduced the husband and this one can lead to even loss of life because nobody talk about it they don't want you to talk about it and even if it's the son of the house who is 
harassing you. You can't talk about it. You can't tell the boss. You can't tell the madam. They will never believe you. They will never believe you. These people believe in themselves. They trust themselves. And this one is a major problem because once they find you, you have an affair with either the son or the boss, then your life is in danger. Then the next thing you will do, you will have to run away because you don't have, nobody will listen to you. Nobody will want to hear anything to do with sexual. Nobody want to hear anything to do with sexual harassment. They don't want to hear it. It's around, it's something that is forbidden. And nobody wants to talk about it. They don't want to just talk about this thing anymore. And guys, another one is beating. You will find some of these bosses, some madams, they beat their shagal so much. They beat their husband so much. If you do a mistake, there's some, not all guys. If you do a mistake, these people will beat you like no one's business. And you don't talk. You don't just talk. They just beat you and you don't have to talk. You don't know where. You don't have any person to report to. So you find your life is so miserable here. You're so much distressed because you don't have anybody to talk to. So they can do anything to you guys. And another one, guys, this one is... Let me say negligence by the agency. Some of our agents, when we come here and you call them back and tell them that you have a problem, they tend not to want to listen to your problem. And there's a friend of mine who was even telling me that the agent, the person he or she is supposed to talk to, has blocked her. And this, she was in problem. And now the agent doesn't want to hear anything. You call them, you tell them, I'm, I'm going through this and this. And they are telling you, continue pressure pressing on continue working so you wonder how can i continue working and yet i'm going through this how can i continue working through this situation i'm going through and they tell they believe like you have to continue working that the person who doesn't want to work and some will even tell you that we took you that work just to work you took you that work what do you want us to do for you so guys if, if you find you are now tired the only option you will have is to run away because now you don't have any source of help and another one is influenced by friends you will find your friends who are outside there who are working out of contract, they will always be telling you, come out, come out, here they come out, here there is freedom, you will do anything they like, and they will even send you pictures, the way they are dressed, the way they are comfortable, and you will be like, you will be like, okay, if I go outside there, then it means there is free lifestyle, I can do anything I want, and you don't know that what awaits you here is also bad, and you forget, sometimes you find you are in a good place, you are in a good home, you are mad, your madam or your boss is good to you and now you want to destroy this relationship and run away to into a place that you're not safe and actually avoid this influence just be contented wherever you are another one guys is great for money some of us feel like we are paid less okay we are paid less i know that but even if you're paid less why don't you just be contented with the little that you get one day you will get more instead of the boss is good, everybody is good for you and you want to run away because somebody tells you out there they are paying a lot of money, you are being paid for 4,000 real, 3,000 real and here they are only paying you 850 or 900 real and now you want to leave that one and going outside you without even thinking of what will be the repercussion of you running away, without even thinking when will you go back at your home. So let's avoid these things, just be contented with and if you want to run away, kindly at least run away because of a reason, a soluble reason that even if somebody one day asks you why did you run away from your madam or your boss, you can be able to explain. Some of us will run away without the passport, you just run away like that. And you forget that you are in a country, you are in a foreign country. You don't know the day you will go back to your country and you are just there comfortable city. So guys, those are the main reasons why we run away from our house from our employers what do you think about this video guys give it a big thumbs up love you guys see you in the next video